The eighth topic is similar to the previous topic. Only thing is here we are dealing with geometric sequence. In geometric sequence, we have R, that is the common ratio. Here, we need to remember this by formula by heart. You need to memorize this. It is very simple. The nth term of a geometric sequence is given by the first term multiplied by R, which is the common ratio, times to the sorry to the power n minus one. So if you want to find the seventh term, you need to know the first term a one, and then the R times seven minus one to the power six. So basically, you're coming to this, right? So the first term multiplied common ratios to the power six times will give you the seventh term. That's it. We will look into problems now. You need to find the nth term. This a n means nth term for each geometric sequence. The a1 is phi, r is phi, and n is 8. How do we do this? Very simple. Just remember the formula. Once you know the formula, just keep applying the values you know because you have to just find the nth term. So all you need to do is substitute the nth term but over here they have mentioned n is 8 so we need to find a 8 a to the power a, a subscript 8 whenever we have a term below it's called subscript whenever it's power it's called superscript subscript and superscript now a 8 in simple we can call is equal to phi that is a 1 and r is also same phi the whole power 8 minus 1 that is 7 all you need to do is substitute this phi to the power 7 is 7, 78,125. Multiplied with phi, you will get 390,625. It is very basic, very simple. All you need to do is substitute, put it in the calculator, solve. That is it. Now, similarly, please do try this by yourselves. Please do try it by yourself and then check for the answer. Don't worry, R can be negative, a fraction, or a proper whole number, or a natural number. It depends in different cases. So do solve it. At the end, you will get the answer. It can be the 75 by 128. Or you can press SD in your calculator and get this number. Similarly, these are the answers.